two K. Yeah. Competition is none. Competition is done. Ball till you fall. How about another run? Here goes another one. Bounce. You ain't got an ounce of skill, so take another route. I'm on that under route. On the court, I dominate like the South. Boy, don't make me call you out. City lights, limelight, whatever. I'm better than you. On my back, on my sweater, my hood. Challenge. Check, check, check. Fade away, sky hook. You best to look. The game is took. Now I got a major look, but ain't forgot where I came from. Or the dirt on my kicks. Take a flick of the first round draft pick. You ready for this new era pro fit? Tell me, can you handle it? The fans, the pressure, the measure of the game. Uh, you better measure up. Cause I ain't letting up. It's the game we love. And the reason why I ball like that until they had enough. You better measure up. Cause I ain't letting up. It's the game we love. And the reason why I ball like that until they had enough. Automatic star status. Who the greatest? Who the baddest? Over here, your A game can't be average. When top is on the mic, never see average. See a baller, see a savage. See me tower like that, looking down on my comp with the stadium packed. I'm talking front to back, hands in the air like this is where we at. Prime time, react, focus. L7s move over. Here's the new slogan. Can't lie, I'm franchise. In other words, your career is flatline. It's that 2K8 designed for ballers. Anybody, if you want to be the shot caller, and never settle for less. Get a jersey that's worthy and show them who the best. Uh. You better measure up, cause I ain't letting up. It's the game we love, and the reason why I ball like that until they had enough. You better measure up, cause I ain't letting up. It's the game we love, and the reason why I ball like that until they had enough. It's too pay, ay, until they had enough. It's too pay, ay, until they had enough. Yeah. It's too pay, ay. Falling on your head. Top cut. Six fingers. Smoke out. Competition is none, competition is done. Ball till you fall, how about another run? Here goes another one, bounce. You ain't got an ounce of skill, so take another route. I'm on that under route. On the court, I dominate like the South, boy. Don't make me call you out. City lights, limelight, whatever. I'm better than you. On my back. Hoops 2K8. The Norfolk State Spartans go up against the Campbell Fighting Campbells. 
This should be a whale of a game. Hello. Takes it up. Can't convert. But he will go to the line for two. Knocks down the first one. And he'll come away one of two. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, for an update. What do you have for us, Tracy? Just before the game, I talked with the Fighting Camels coach. He told me that they want to use their quickness to their advantage. He said they couldn't think of another squad that could match their team's speed, and he wants to make sure that shows tonight by getting out on the break and showing how fast this game can be played. Guys? Thank you, Tracy. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around, then pounced. Such a thief -er. Abdullah. Slides in with a soft finger roll. They lead by one. One on one. Munyagi catches it out left. Ballard puts it up. The high bounce carries it out. He got it up there, but it just wouldn't fall. With a little more touch, it might have. Feeds, top of the key, Stone. Mendoza skips it to the free throw line. Puts it up. Grabbed by Parker. Beautiful rebound. Boxed his man out and never let him regain position. Top of the key. Parker dumps it off. Ballard from deep. Gillingham gets the board inside. What a good job on the defense to make him think about that shot. Mendoza shoots. Off the mark with the three ball. But they're still out in front by one. Double clutches laid in for Ballard. They're up three to two. Mendoza tosses it up court. Stone from deep. Zutko corrals the miss. About seven and a half minutes left in the half. When a D got lucky there, Vern, you can't expect many misses when you're that open. With the shot, the three-pointer knocked down by Peters. They increase their lead to four. Dumps it down low. No one was open, and they'll turn it over on the five-second call. He had nowhere to turn, Vern. His man was in his pocket the entire time and caused the turnover. Gillingham inbounds the ball. Abdullah will bring it up for himself. Rises and dishes. The steal by Peters. Oh, not a good entry pass, Vern. You just can't force it in there. Pass to the free throw line. Zutko, easy look. Up the backboard and in. He's got two. Puts it up. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. And they're now out in front by ten. Stone. Can't put an end to the run. Just over six minutes left in the half. Catches it. Down low. Off the glass and in for Ballard. The streak continues with 14 unanswered. Goes up. The finger roll was laid in by Stone. But they still trail by 10. Munyagi with the ball.
Peters unloads. Can't get the jumper to fall. Still a 10-point lead. From downtown. Snatched by Zutko. That's his third rebound of the contest. It's still early, Vern, but they can't take any more time to get this thing going. It hasn't been pretty for them so far. Stone passes to the right side. Out left. Dishes it to the top of the key. Gillingham puts up a three. Parker hauls in the board. Just over five minutes left in the half. I'm not sure his coach is happy with him for putting up that shot. Beats it to the wing. Ballard has it. Right wing. That last trade, no good. The D sloughed way off him, and he still somehow couldn't get it to go. Gillingham hands it off. Dish, far side. Sizing up his man. Stone. Abdullah swings it to the wing. They're going to have to hurry. Clifton backs in. It drops. They cut the lead to eight. The Fighting Camels with a lot of momentum. The Fighting Camels take their first time out of the game. to get the starters a little breather so they'll go to the bench for fresh legs Zotko inbounds the ball passes it to the low block Wallaskowski I used the whole shot clock and only need a few Zutko corrals it, and that's his fourth rebound thus far. Munyagi passes it up court. All right, man, we're down by 10. And he makes the first. The Spartans have some guys getting tired out there, and they'll bring in some subs. on the second. No good on that last shot by Barnes. That's how to play this game. Establish position. Grab the offensive board and finish the play. Nicely done. Barnes inbounds the ball. Munyagi brings it up the floor. Dishes to the wing. Barnes snatches the rebound from long range. Too long and it was missed by Peters. But they still lead by 11. Snatched God damn it, bro. By Can I get a foul? About three and a half minutes left in the half. Their rebounding has been terrific, Vernon. That's the main reason they're leading in this game. Zutko catches it. Left wing. Munyagi backs him down. Oh, bro. Wolaskowski fires. Knocks it down. <laughs> the wing. By 13. They're going to double team it. Bold pass. And it's controlled by Kimball. The extra guy just snuck up on him and forced the turnover. Sneaky but clever play by the D. Munyagi passes to the left wing. Right wing. Raises up the trifecta by Wolaskowski. He's one for two from downtown. Bello dishes it to the right wing. Mendoza Nobody high. can't return the favor with his own three. 2.25 left in the first half. 
Stone gets the reach in fall. They're in the penalty, so we'll head to the line for a one and one. That's a big foul. They'll go to the line for the rest of the half. Nobody hot, man. Knocks down the first one. He gets them both. Ma inbounds the ball. One on one. Rises and dishes the steal by Pacavicious. That just kills it, coach. If you leave the floor, you better have something in mind. He didn't. It forced them the ball. The Spartan. will take their first time out. Well, let's get back to the action. Norfolk State has right, some guys more. getting tired out there. And they'll bring in give some me a Brian, I... Stolen. No, right, give me a brown stinks. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Last shot dropped in by Zutko. Norfolk State has been on the wrong side of this long run. And Tracy's got a report for us. The head coach is not at all happy with the drought they're going through and told his assistants to find a way, any way, to turn this one around. All right, Tracy. His eyes lit up when he saw that shot go up. I love when guys get that excited about defense. Ma dumps it off. Millie gets it. Face off. Rises and dishes. The what fighting going, bro. have got a nice lead. Wallacekowski, the finisher, finishes with the soft touch. Terrible, bro. Terrible, man. That's it. Top of the key. Millie. It's tipped. And it's scooped up by Zach. God. I need to see who can do what. So nobody good with shooting, shooting three-pointers. 49, 52, 58. 36, 36. Come on, man. Like, who made these damn rosters, bro? Crazy. With the reach. Bonus situation in effect. So they'll head to the line for a one and one. And he makes the front end of the one and one. He gets the second to fall as well. Cossie makes his first appearance. Ma inbounds the ball. Monsuris tosses it up court. Catches it. Right side. The shot down low. That one was drilled by Ravello. They're now down by 25. 25. Left in the first half. Hakovicius. Wide open. To the wing. Nice Lead to do wide open, bro. Defense is tripping, man. That's good offensive rhythm. Move the ball, find a hot hand, and let it fly. They're on a roll. Down low. Passes it back to the paint. Ravello was just sitting in the paint. And the ref's going to call him for it. Well, things just aren't going their way. Turnovers like that tell a story for how this game is played out. The fighting camels have been dialed in from long range. Three-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Wallacekowski. Wallacekowski fires the three. 
gets the bucket. He's shooting 75% from three-point range. Millie gets it. Left wing. The last shot missed from three-point range. And we're headed to halftime with the score. We're going to go ahead and send this game, man. And we ain't coming back from that. We're going to go ahead and send this. Check, check. If you're in the chat, let me know if the mic is good, man. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. You had, to, you had to double check the volume real quick. Man, we're going to go ahead and sim this game, man, because uh, let me see. We're all set to begin the second half. 10 to 41, man. I don't, I don't see us coming back from that. I don't know, man. I don't see, I don't see us coming back from that there. We'll go up on offense tempo, offense defense pressure, defensive pressure, I meant. Crash board won't go up. 12 there. Ten to forty-one, man. I really don't see us coming back, man. <clears throat> no, I'm, prob I'm probably gonna have to start the second half. Ten minutes. Feeds right wing, takes the shot. The triple was off the mark by Millage. They'll give him that one every day of the week. Last shot dunked down by Ma. Let's check in with Tracy Wilson. Thanks, Vern. During halftime, I spoke with the head coach to set his teams down big, and it's going to take some unconventional maneuvers to get them back in it. Coach said that even though his starters had plenty of energy, he would still rotate in his bench players. He said that it wasn't a question of fatigue, but more of a method of showing different looks on offense. Back to you. Thanks, Tracy. <clears throat> Mendoza has it. Left wing. Stone. Double clutches. Cl all right, man. Some light to the end. It's all good. We ain't coming back from that. 21-61 like I thought. Tough one, come on, man. Come on, baby, get right. There you go, there you go. Get in there, get in there. Let's go. Baby. 
Bad week for drugs, man. Bad week for drugs.
All right, we got Evansville on the schedule. 70 overall, 74 offense, 65 defense. My squad, 62 overall, 59 offense, 62 defense. We're going to rock the green jerseys. Get ready for College Hoops 2K8. The Norfolk State Spartans go up against the Evansville Purple Aces. This should be a whale of a game. Aces control the tip off and we'll get this one started. The game has just begun and they're already in the minimum. Hangs in the air. The game's first basket was made by Harris. They take a two point lead. The steal, the intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. That last dunk was slammed down by Harris. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson who has some info for us. A little while ago, I caught up with the Purple Aces coach. He told me that they want to use their quickness to their advantage. He said they couldn't think of another squad that could match their team speed, and he wants to make sure that shows tonight by getting out on the break and showing how fast this game can be played. Guys? Thank you, Tracy. Clifton. Dishes it to the left block. This is the first. Come on, bro. He sinks the second. Holmes inbounds the ball. Right around nine minutes left in the half. Poole takes a three. Clifton pulls it in. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked. It was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Has it out left feeds left wing tosses it up the shot from the wing was good by Abdullah they cut it to one Larson brings it up the floor Harris <laughs> fouled hard and he'll take a trip to the line knocks down the first one Gets the second to fall as well. Abdullah inbounds the ball. Clifton will bring it up for himself. Gillingham shoots it, tickles the twine. And they're now down by one. Just over eight minutes left in the half. Gets it right wing. Harris passes it to the free throw line, baseline. Larson, nice little crossover. Old school Vern using the fingertips to let it drop in. Sizing up his man, Mendoza. Abdullah catches it, left wing. Pass, high post, Mendoza. Catches it, left side. Stone bounces it to the low block. Last basket was made by Abdullah. Burns inbounds the ball. He gets up close and personal and closes the deal. Leaves no room for error and no room for anybody to do anything about it. Out left. Abdullah hands it off. Fades away. Grabbed inside by Harris. Under seven minutes left in the half. Harris fought for that rebound. That's some toughness for you. Burns. Passes to the wing. Harris has it on the elbow. 
Dishes. Left wing. Burns with the shot. Home. Grabs the rock. Tries again. Gets it to go. And they now go up by three. It looks like they're playing man to man. Clifton gets it. Left wing. The offensive board gathered by Clifton for the tie. The shot God damn, bro. They've been tripping with the threes that's lately, bro. That's an Vern. I hope he realizes that's not his shot, no matter how soft they're defending him. Larson from deep knocks it loose. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Harris brings it up the floor. Larson feeds it to the wing. Stolen by Norfolk State. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. About five and a half minutes left in the half. Evansville will take its first timeout. Well, let's get back to the action. The Evansville coach has a new lineup that isn't extremely experienced. This could have an effect on the team's chemistry. Let's see. Burns inbounds the ball. To the paint. Passes it back to the stripe. Grady pulls the trigger. The jumper was buried by Poole. They're in front, 12 to 9. It's stolen by Larson, and that'll be his second steal of the contest. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around, then pounced. Such a thief burn. Stone dumps it off. Clifton lays it up and in. But they're still behind by one. Under five minutes left in the half. Dishes to the high post. Backs in. Burns. Pool from deep. Line ball. Gets the board inside. Flip up and get rebound, bro. Way to scramble for that bucket. It was all set up by his hard work on the offensive glass. Rises and dishes. Mendoza swings it to the right wing. Far side. Puts it up. Couldn't tie right, Stone been tripping hoes for the pad three game. He wasn't hitting nothing. Nobody around. He still couldn't convert. Sometimes you can be too wide open. Clifton tosses it up court. Skips it to the elbow. Gillingham. It's tipped and it's controlled by Evansville. Under four minutes left in the half. The intercept. What great reflexes. He Bush, man. Come on, dog. Easily. A superior effort to fight through the foul. And... All right, got a couple 60s in here, so we're going to switch out the 60s. The Purple Aces will get a few of their starters back in the game. Tacks on the free throw for the three-point play. Lovello inbounds the ball. Deflects the pass. The Spartans will retain possession. Passes it to the left. Nolan goes up. The steal by Evansville. About three and a half minutes left in the half. The last shot jammed in by Harris. Great work. Way to find the open man. 
some pressure here and with full court minimum rose it up Herod gets it on the low right, come on oh, right. look at the physicality powered it through the contact and hit can't convert the three-point floor line ball drains the fadeaway by 10 Norfolk State has had serious problems with their interior defense and Tracy has a report from their bench. The head coach is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the paint, even if it means leaving the perimeter open. Desperate measures here, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. Grady. From 20 feet out, snatched by Ravello. Wow. His mid-range game is generally solid. He can't believe it, and I can't believe it. Stone bounces it to the left. Nolan takes it up. Great finish in traffic. They narrow it to five. 157 left in the first half. Outright. Home backs in. Rovello corrals the miss inside. It's one on one. He can't be happy with that miss. With all the room he had, he's got to make that shot. Dumps it down low. The steal by Linebaugh anticipates the pass. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around, then pounced. Such a thief firm. Larson brings it up. Evansville calls timeout. Well, let's get back to the ash. The Purple Aces are going to make some substitutions. Burns inbounds the ball. Novakovic. That's what I call a... Intimidation didn't go up strong enough and saw the result. Norfolk State has some guys getting tired out there, and they'll bring in some subs. Dishes it inside. Millage catches it, top of the key. Feeds out left from the wing. Drained by Nolan. They now have nine unanswered. Evansville is struggling on defense, and Tracy has a quick report from their bench. The Purple Aces coach is not at all happy with the drought they're going through and told his assistants to find a way, any way, to turn this one around. All right, Tracy. He's really not a strong finisher, and the defense was all over him. You just want to pass it out when that happens. Emerson. Hopes free. God damn it. And it's scooped up by Burns. It's one-on-one. -on -one. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Has it in the corner. Harris didn't watch his feet and steps on the line. We're going the other way. He lost track of where he was for <coughs> close game, man. We're down by one. Basketball. Better than the last game, for sure. 
Ma inbounds the ball. Nolan to take the lead. Harris snatches the rebound. First half comes to an end with the score 23 to 22. How about the happenings in the first half, Bill? Both sides look like they're pretty evenly matched, Fern. This could be shaping up to be a real classic. And now it's time to show you our player of the solid performance from our player of the half. We're all set to begin the second half, so let's get back into it. Let's check in with Tracy Wolfson. At halftime, I caught up with the head coach. He said that he was going to stir the pot a little bit and hope that it helps them come back in the second half. Back to you, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. Let's see if they took that advice. Superb rejection. Cool. Throws it up. Burns. Yanks it down inside. Off target on the last play. Uh, Flipped it up fellas. and out. His team really needs him to hit that. Ravello beats it down low. Last Ooh. shot laid in by Ooh. Nolan. A dynamite bounce pass. The D never saw it coming. Saw it going, though, right into the net. The alley-oop. It's deflected, uh, and it's bad. picked up by Norfolk State. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. That last shot, good by Millage. Burns inbounds the ball. That's a great look. A coach couldn't ask for much more. Right wing. Passes it to the top of the key. Poole, from 17 feet out, snatched inside by Burns. For all the positives of this guy, I must say, he could use a little work on his touch. You're talking about that unattractive miss back there. Oh, that's a whole offseason of work to do. Larson goes up. Emerson grabs the rebound. About eight and a half minutes left in the second half. There was too much defensive pressure on him to take it to the tin with ease. Larson gets called for blocking. That's his first foul. Well, he got there in time, but it looked like he was leaning when the contact occurred. Block him out of the shooting foul, bro. Nola inbounds the ball. Ma has it. Right wing. Vish, right wing. Shoots a three. Yanked down inside by Maul. No way he was Let's go, back. baby. Ball that close to the rim. Harris takes it up. He gets hammered. He'll head to the strike. All right, baby. We're up by seven, man. We one in we one in eight or one in seven. I can't remember. But we definitely need this win, man. I think it's 30 games per season, so. And he makes the first. We almost had way through the season. He's needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. He gets them both. Ravello inbounds the ball. Norfolk State is having real turnover problems. Tracy, do you have something for us on that? The head coach looked downright disgusted after that last turnover led to yet another opposition bucket. He yelled three simple words at his guys on the floor. God damn it. Come on, the bro. Ball. Thanks, Tracy. Oh, yeah, Just Bray, throw it do? down. His coach is going crazy on the sidelines. Knocks down the first one. <laughs> and
and he splits the free throws. Goes up. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He knew right where to be. Millage from eight feet. Got He's shooting 66% for the game. Harris inbounds the ball. Stolen by Millie. Let's go, baby. The Evansville coach saw something out there he didn't like, and he called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. Looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. <laughs> Holmes. Harris dumps it off. Takes it up. Come on, he got huh? fouled and still almost made it. He'll go to the line for two shots. And he makes the first. He gets the second to fall as well. Nolan inbounds the ball. Under seven minutes left in the second half. Catches it, left wing. One on one. To the inside, Nolan. Let's Come on, go. bro. Can't get the jumper to fall. But they're you still out of those, bro. You're right six. in the middle of the hole, now. Bounces it to the middle. That's and it's good, gathered up by Nolan. Uh, not a good entry pass, Fern. You just can't force it in there. Nice Let's move. Go, baby. baby. Last shot by Ravello. It seems that the only way to describe the defensive reaction to that is lazy. It drives you crazy when you make an average score look like an All-American. Pool from long range. No one snatches it down inside. The Spartans can push their lead to double digits. Pool is in a pretty cold stretch right now, Vern, and there's a danger that it's going to start to rub off on the rest of the team. From the right block, the second chance points were cashed in by Millage. He's four for five for the game. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Miniman, the Purple Aces will take a timeout. are making a few lineup changes. Burns inbounds the ball. Larson gets it, top of the key. 
Passes. Right block. Pool. Trifecta. He's one for four from three-point range. Bello takes the shot. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time, they tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. Down low. The tough shot. Brady went after that rebound hard. Great work. Cool. The quick shot. Nola fires it way up court. Ravello dumps it to the inside. Backs down. Let's it go. God damn it, bro. Still have a seven point lead. Yeah, Poole passes it up court. Goes up. Fouled hard, and he'll take a trip to the line. down the first one the Norfolk State coach may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions because that gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there he's off on the second Norfolk State may be switching things up a little bit Tracy Wolfson has a report for us Tracy? The Spartans just had a little meeting of the minds among the coaching staff, Vern. One of the players yelled, why are we rushing our shots so much, guys? A point coach reiterated. He told them, slow things down and chew up the shot clock on every possession. Pass, low block. The last layup was dropped in by Harris. He's a player, Bill, who can put the ball exactly where it needs to be. No doubt, Vern. He leads his man so well, he couldn't help but drop it in. Mendoza gets it out left. Abdullah feeds it to the wing. Pulled in by Abdullah. Abdullah didn't get that rebound by accident. He knew right where to be. They extend the lead to eight. Down low. Harris. This is the easy one, and it's controlled by Evansville. Oh, the quick hands before they even knew what hit them. He made off with that one. Come on, man. I know we can hold it, man. 42-34, man. We can hold it. And he makes the first. He gets them both. Hey, man, make sure y'all hit that like button, man. I appreciate Up everybody inside of the stream the right now, Mendoza man. I appreciate everybody stopping court. through and checking your boy out, man. Hope everybody having a blessed, safe Saturday, Up man. Sizing up his man. Stone double Stone. clutches the There's a lot of people down left and right, man. Y'all be safe out and there. And they're now out real. in front by eight. Evansville calls time. They're down by eight. 250 left in the game. I could be anywhere in the world right now, man, but I'm here playing college hoops. You know what I'm saying? The crossover. Passes to the elbow. Pool. Baseline jumper. Too strong. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over anxious. Stone gets it. Right corner. That last tray, no good. He pulled down that offensive. It's a rebound, no boy. Problem. What a battler. They're ahead, 46 to 36. Poole tries to get it going up the backboard and in. They're now behind by eight. 2.06 left in the game. 
Shoots a three. No good by Thompson. But they're still up by eight. Leads him with the pass. Burns fires off target from 16 feet. Don't count on him missing too many of those, especially when they're playing off him like that. Has it out left, tipped away, and it's gathered up by Harris. He showed great hands on that steal. His man wasn't protecting the ball, and he just snatched it away from him. Last way off the mark by Poole. Deflected. The Spartans will get this one back. Right side. Abdullah inbounds the ball. Feeds it. Cross court. And it's scooped up by Burns. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Poole takes it up. He gets hammered. And he'll head to the strike. Poole is down the floor, and it looks like he may have injured his leg. Yeah, he's definitely hurt. Well, we'll just have to wait and see how long it sidelines him for. Hopefully he recovers quickly, Vern. And we'll try to get an update on his condition as soon as possible. Off target on the first. time here, Vern. For three. Too long, and it was missed by Stone. They still have a seven-point lead. Okoti from downtown. Clifton grabs it. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Great pass. Thompson hammers, and he will go to the line. Got a quick reader, but they need him back on the floor. Since the second end, that stretches their lead to eight. Burns inbounds the ball. Leads him with the pass. Tosses it up. The shot was banked in by Harris. That pass made it happen, Burn. No doubt, Bill. I thought he had a look, too, but he wisely dished it off from his teammate. Brady is back in the game after a short rest. Off on the first. That will be a goal tip. Brady will head to the bench. Well, this overtime obviously didn't go their way, Vern. They didn't have anything left in the tank for the extra period. That last 24 was offline by Harris. He got it up there, but it just wouldn't fall. With a little more touch, it might have. Brady was needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of the rest. the first one and that makes it a seven point lead perfect from the line and it's an eight point ball game Holmes inbounds the ball with the three ball. Home gets whistled for a foul, and we're in the double bonus, so they'll go to the line for two shots. I can appreciate their willingness to keep battling, Vern, but I think it's too late to save the game. Fouling isn't going to do them any good anymore. Off target on the first. Brady will head to the bench.
just the wrong time to start missing your free throws, Vern. They sure would like to pad their lead. Harris. Stone has it. And that's his third rebound of the contest. I can appreciate their willingness to keep battling, Vern, but I think it's too late to save the game. Fouling isn't going to do them any good anymore. Sinks the first one, and that will give them a nine-point lead. was hurt earlier on. And Tracy Wilson has checked on his condition and has this update. Tracy? Vern, the team doctor told me that he strained his hamstring and they've been using some ice to reduce the swelling. There's still a chance he'll return to this game depending on how he feels, guys. Okay. Thanks, Tracy. There's the horn. Norfolk State defeats the Purple Aces 51 to 41. Let's see who we have as our player of the game. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. It's no secret that getting momentum on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball games. The Norfolk State Spartan took off on a huge scoring run that all began on this play right here. This sparked the run that simply broke the back of the opposition. Okay, thanks, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wilson and Bill Raftery. Glad you were here with us for College Hoops 2K8.